Now, I'll be honest, this video is not going to be like the other critiques of the Attitude Era. Most of them come from Attitude Era fans. I happen to be an Attitude Era fan, but the main argument is that they it spoiled wrestling fans because it was too good. This is going to actually have some decent critiques of the Attitude Era in terms of storyline decisions and things that they could have done better. It's going to be five things that the Attitude Era really dropped the ball on. First off is the corporate ministry. Now I love the corporation. It had a great heel leader and I love the ministry. But when you combined them together, the corporate ministry lost a lot of the shades of both of them. The corporation was such a douchey group because of Vince McMahon and his overacting, overly dramatic dark side personality. I don't know how to describe it. He was such an antagonist. He wasn't just a heel. He was an antagonist. You wanted to see him get his ass beat. With Undertaker in the ministry, he had such a satanic, dark magic, um, cult, occult character to him. And both these sides, I feel, were a little bit dulled when they combined and consolidated together. Or better yet, when they merged together. It wasn't a good idea. Two was The Rock burying Billy Gunn. Now, we both all know here that Billy Gunn didn't have the potential to be a world champion at the Attitude Era, at least. But what was the point of having him win the 1999 King of the Ring if The Rock was just going to bury him with this big, gigantic promo, which uh, later he recycled anyway, so... I didn't see any point to any of that shit. Next was, I mean, think about it here. He was an Intercontinental Champion, a Tag Team Champion, and then the King of the Ring. What was the point of doing all of this if you're just going to make him lose any points? Three was spoiling Austin. Now, I know Austin's a great competitor. He's a great wrestler. He's so entertaining. But the way they spoiled him, it really ruined it for the early part of the Ruthless Aggression era where Austin wasn't present at all. He wasn't present for most of 2002. And by 2003, when he was in the road to WrestleMania, he hasn't done enough because basically his injuries were catching up to him and there was so little they could have done at that point. So basically, they dropped the ball on Austin by spoiling him too much, by making it so that Austin's this character that simply can't lose cleanly most of the damn time. And I feel like that's a big problem. Number four is x Park. That's it. It's just x Park. Number five. Kane not winning the Royal Rumble in 2001. I felt like Kane should have really won that Royal Rumble. And I'm well aware that that was <clears throat> supposed to be the last Attitude Era road to WrestleMania. But despite that, I definitely feel like Kane should have definitely won that shit. I mean, okay, so they're not going to have him they wanted Austin to close the Attitude Era with the title, but they could have done at least something with Kane, have him win the Royal Rumble, seriously. They dropped the ball with Kane, because at this point, no matter how many world titles Kane won in the future, Kane has become this fuck-up where nobody has an idea on what to do with Kane. Especially with this him versus Cena angle, which... Seems like it's being improvised and winged. But seriously, half the time it feels like Kane's fucking up shit more than he's doing any good for the business and storylines and angles. They should have really did something good with him back then when there was still something going for him. 
and Kane's a great guy, so I feel like this is a big disappointment. All in all, these are my five complaints. I sincerely hope that you enjoy this. I thought that I wouldn't really care anyway. I have options. If you guys just like this, I also have JTV, Blog TV, Tumblr, The Works. So this has been Mr. Wonka 7, and SMD.